Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about why people find when they get into intermittent fasting on a daily basis that it can be a lot harder for them compared to people that have been doing it long term. And when I'm saying harder, just finding that they get hungry a lot easier and they just find it quite more difficult to actually fast for the length that they want to with their daily intermittent fasting. And there are a few different reasons for this. So for example, if you're eating three meals a day, your body is used to eating around the times that you eat and the amount of times that you eat within a day. So when you start to feel what people call hunger pains and you get that grumbling noise in there, that is a peptide being secreted by your gut that is actually causing you to feel hunger. So when you start intermittent fasting and you start to skip your morning meal, for example, your body starts releasing grilling and making you feel hungry. But once you've done intermittent fasting on a daily basis for around two weeks, it's been shown within days, for example, of skipping the morning meal, your body will stop. begin to stop secreting ghrelin within the morning. So it's going to make it a lot easier to intermittent fast. And alongside that, there's another hormone that comes from your fat cells known as leptin. So with regular intermittent fasting, your body will start to improve insulin sensitivity and what your body is doing within a fasted state is burning your body fat as fuel so it's releasing that leptin into your body and what leptin does is actually decrease and suppress your appetite so this is why it's really easy for me to do one meal a day because i just don't get hungry within the day because my body's so used to not eating multiple meals throughout the day so I have really good leptin sensitivity and my body is also not producing an abundance of ghrelin throughout the day. And even when I've been fasting for 24 hours in the day, I still don't feel hungry. But my body normally gives me some signs that I do need to be eating some fuel because I notice that I need to increase my energy levels because they start to decrease around that time period because my body is needing some fuel from a food source. See, if you're new to intermittent fasting, realize that it's gonna be harder at first, but you just need to resist and persist the temptations to break your fast too early and just eating multiple meals throughout the day whenever you want. Because yeah, if you're someone that actually wants to achieve intermittent fasting consistently, long-term to get the greatest benefits, such as increasing your human growth hormones in females by around 1,300% daily, and in men by about 2,000% and testosterone levels in females by around 130% and in men by about 200 to 400%. And this is all shown through scientific research and it also improves insulin sensitivity and drops insulin as well, which is key for reducing your body fat percentage. You have really low body fat percentage while preserving muscle mass and increasing your muscle mass at the same time and giving you a whole host of amazing health benefits mentally and physically. So I'm gonna give you a quick few tips to make it easier for you, especially when you're new to intermittent fasting. So if you find that hunger is kicking in, make sure that you are busy doing tasks within your day and in that specific moment when it's happening, so your mind is not focused upon food and is going on to the task that you are focusing at hand. And the second one is drink loads of water around half a quart of water and then see if you're hungry afterwards. And some think that I've done in the past is actually go and do exercise because exercise suppresses your appetite. And the fourth one is just making sure that you're eating an abundance of calories when you are eating your meals because I have found from my own personal experience, calorie restriction just makes it really hard for me to fast for a long period of time. So I do not recommend that at all. And if you wanna see what I eat within a day when eating one meal a day, I'm gonna put a link for a video here. And if you're someone that is eating two meals in a day, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day when I've done intermittent fasting in the past with two meals a day. And I put the link for the video here. And make sure when you're doing intermittent fasting that you're avoiding specific drinks. Because if you're drinking specific liquids that have quite a lot of calories in it, will break you out of that fasted state. And I had someone on my channel ask me recently, can I consume juice whilst intermittent fasting? And I said, absolutely not. That will break you out of a fasted state. And if you don't know which drinks are accepted, I'm gonna put a link for a video where I talk about that more in depth. And a quick tip that I will give you alongside all this, and this goes, 
And a quick tip that I'll give you in relation to liquids is drink some sparkling water. I've recommended this to people before in the past and it really seems to be the best liquid for suppressing someone's appetite. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below as always and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about what I've shared with you in relation to intermittent fasting and why it can be harder at first and what you can do to make it a lot easier for you to actually sustain it and do it long term. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more intermittent fasting videos from me on a regular basis, one meal a day videos, what I eat in a day, calisthenics videos, showing you specific workouts and giving you tips, and many other different things to help you go in the direction of getting the energy levels that you wish to sustain and maintain and achieve the body that you desire with a low body fat percentage whilst increasing your muscle mass at the same time so you can achieve your dream body like I have managed to. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure that you hit that subscribe button by clicking it down below and that you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay strong, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.